welcome to Ann Makes. I am Ann. Welcome into my studio and uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my craft supply hauls and my DIYs with those craft supplies. So you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Ann Makes in the corner of the screen and uh, click on that bell until it jiggles so YouTube can notify you whenever I post a new video. Today I bring you a Dollarama haul video. Yes, another dollar store craft haul. I love shopping there and I love it mostly because I find so much stuff for DIY and home decor and I'm finding more and more stuff to use in my everyday life. So here we go. So one of the things I was really excited to share with you is that I saw, sorry, cat fur. <laughs> I saw these brand new craft storage boxes. So these are really, really neat. They are $3 and the dividers inside are movable. So you can organize it any which way you want. Uh, yes, it says the grid inside the box can be adjusted to your desired size. So it doesn't say how many little boxes there are if you leave it as is, so I will count them for you. So there are 36 little squares in here. And if you so desire to leave them as is, if you have lots of small items, let's say beads or such, whoops, sorry about that. Um, but you could also remove any of the dividers like so and you know you you split these up and you you know I don't think I have to show you how to use a box but yes everything is movable so all the dividers are movable so you can make any kind of configuration that you wish and again these are three dollars and they measure about the size of a sh regular sheet of paper they are I compared them to the other boxes that we can get in the um, tool section of Dollarama where there are bigger squares um, they are about the same size so to give you an idea and they fit these fit perfectly into a cabinet so if you have uh, some cabinets like I, as I do on on my wall here uh, they are these cabinets here these ones right here are made to measure to hold scrapbook paper so they are deeper and the there would still be space in front but on the corner I have regular sized uh, kitchen cabinets that are about 11 inches or so deep so scrapbook paper does not fit in there but these boxes fit perfectly lengthwise so just wanted to fill you in on that another brand new item and I've seen other people hauling various kits like this my store had this one and this is the I think it's floral floral memories what it's called and I think it's a lovely, lovely package. I love the papers in here. Very versatile, can be used for so many projects. And the Mambi kits, I can't remember how much these are. I think they were $3, I can't remember. But yeah, so this is available. I got, I got these stencils, these uh, I had missed the first time that they had come to my store and they they had less and this they just put out a new batch so I picked up these new stencils but they're not really new to a lot of you because I know you've seen them in your stores they just took a while to get to mine so and these are the stencils that you get each set of two stencils is a dollar twenty five so I'm just showing you the different styles one as well so you get a nice variety um, and I 
have a ton of stencils already, but I really uh, enjoy working with stencils. So I got those. In the Halloween decorating, I saw they had these spider web doilies, and uh, I don't have any of these, and I thought these would be fun for, of course, for decorating at Halloween, to, you know, present a plate of cookies like they show here, or whatever. If you're having, like, a, a, a banquet or party or something. Um, but I also thought for us paper crafters, these paper, spider web paper doilies would probably be a lot of fun to use. So those are available and in here you get 10 pieces for a dollar 25 they measure 9.8 inches so give you an idea there was some new types of sandpaper this one this brand is norton and this one is a very very rough texture it says it's good for stripping uh furniture i guess uh and i thought oh yeah that might be handy to pick up because i do we do sometimes have uh, woodworking projects that require stripping or for other other times that we need a really rough sandpaper so there are three sheets in here it is uh 80 that is yeah the 80 coarse that's the coarseness of the um sandpaper three sheets in here and i do not remember the price but it was two or three dollars i got some more of the linen card stock because i think it's a good deal and it's a nice paper it measures eight and a half by eleven you get ten sheets in here for a dollar twenty five and it's a very nice paper Back in the Halloween aisle, they had some of these sticky notes, which I think are really, really cute. These are $1.25 each, and there was also this set, so I got that. And a funny item, there was this one lonely set of stamps. The company is Key or Kai. Oh, it's distributed by Hampton Art. So, yeah. Key. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, this is by this is made by Hampton Art. They are a big manufacturer of, of craft products. And this nice set where you get 14 pieces of these clear stamps was only $1.50. And it was the only set. Uh, I saw at my store and I saw Tina Kazarian haul the exact same set and she said the same thing <laughs> so I, I don't don't know what's going on now in the Halloween costume stuff I picked up a pair of these fishnet tights don't no don't jump to conclusions there's no way in heck I will be wearing these but I thought that the meshy fabric, since it's stretchy, could be used for some DIYs, some crafting, etc. That's why I bought the fishnet stockings. Yeah. Okay. I also bought this pair of compression socks. These are to wear. <laughs> these are three dollars. Um, I got these for myself or for my husband to use because when we travel our legs get swollen so that should help I also got a pair of the boot socks in brown because I had not picked these up the last time I had picked up the black pair and these are my goodness where are the prices uh, I think this was three dollars Sorry, I, a lot of things now don't have the prices on them, but they do have the price in the store, so it's, just, it's hard to remember it all. And I'm all over the place today, but that doesn't matter. You're going to see everything. I saw these kitchen towels. Sandy, if you're watching, you'll understand. And I thought, oh, this is perfect for my kitchen. And I thought these are beautiful for fall decor. I love these fall colors, the rust, the oranges, the greens. Uh, these are, they're very nice. They're cotton. Uh, they're, they seem thick and absorbent. 
and these are two dollars a piece they measure 18 by 28 they are the d maison de maison uh brand this is something that is packaged for dollarama it is a made in india product and yeah i got two of those and i thought these ones probably can can be used to wipe up things like my husband likes to wipe up and it won't be so bad you know it'll be harder to hide the stains the dilemma continues <sighs> my life with these kitchen towels is like a bad soap opera i know <laughs> i found some interesting things in the tool section and I got them because they are handy to have. So, and the funny thing is I saw in the U.S. people hauling similar packages, very similar packages, at their Dollar Tree. But here I, I was very, like, uh, I was very surprised to see them at Dollarama. So... What I'm going to show you is these boxes of screws. So you get this big box with all these screws. It says there are 75 screws. It tells you the size. They are seven by five eighths. And you get the bit to put on your, your drill or if you have a, a handy handy dandy hand screwdriver uh, that has multiple, that you can change the bits, you can use that. So that's really helpful when there's a bit included, then you know you have the damn bit. So these are the small ones and you know with so many DIYs and things to be repaired in our household I just thought well this this would be really handy because uh, then if we need a little screw and we have the bit all right and I believe these packages were three dollars there was also this size of screw that's uh, eight, one and a half inches and again the bit there's only 25 in here because they're bigger but uh yeah i just you know thought it would be handy to have and i picked up one package of these heavy duty plasterboard anchor screw sets these are two dollars so maybe these were two i'm not sure anymore uh but this doesn't have a bit with it but these are really handy when you have to drill a hole in your drywall to hang something heavy so yeah these are we've had to and I've paid more than that at my local hardware store for this so uh, yeah this will be handy for the next time we might need some so I also oh, I also picked up a white fish net stocking again for the material people do not go thinking weird things and for my own use, for my own tools, I picked up this pair of diagonal cutting pliers. I have a reg I have regular cutting pliers, but uh, so a diagonal might be good. And these are two dollars and fifty cents, and they're small, so that looks good for my hand. And I picked up a set of ratchets and sockets, ratchet and socket set. This is only four dollars. I know we have ratchet, or we have stuff like this in the garage, but my garage is a mess, and uh, whenever I go in there to find something, it's, it's terrible. I can't find anything in there. The garage is not my domain. It shows. So, uh, yeah, I just decided, you know what, I better get my own set of tools to keep in the house. So... I did <laughs> okay ne next crafty item I have to show you are these cute little wooden decorations for Halloween uh, these are so cute you have in here 45 pieces of these little wooden die cuts and this is two dollars such a good deal now in the health and beauty aisle I saw a tube of Crest toothpaste with Olaf on it, and I got this for a friend of mine who's a 
crazy about Olaf's. So that's all it is, just for for her to enjoy. <laughs> now, if anybody has tried this, uh, let me know. I saw this. I'm not familiar with this brand. It's an aromatherapy thing. A uh, guru on guru on Nanda. Apparently, it's a calming effect, ready to use roll on. Um, and I saw, oh, okay. We do have, there are many times many of us could use a calming down about something. So I thought we could give this a try. But if anybody else has tried this, and uh, you could let me know in the comments below. And this little bottle is 10 milliliters. So it's four dollars now i know all these aromatherapy products are always overpriced really so even at four dollars it seems pricey but i bet you that's a good deal uh, so that and last but not least i found something that may be an answer to a solution <laughs> problem i have in my home i found this rib head foam cat head litter mat and this is from the brand pets on main street and look at the kitty it looks like tina's peppy <laughs> it looks a little bit like tina's peppy cat <laughs> it's so cute and it's a cat head shaped lit mat to put outside the litter box to catch the litter and that is what i was in need of in this room because I have Snowball's litter box here and uh, I have a mat there, but she she comes out and she shakes her paws and it flies all over the place, the litter, and I'm all constantly cleaning it up. So I just thought maybe getting a bigger mat <laughs> might, help, might be helpful to me. And it says that it's brown. I only saw it in this color, this brown. So I'm gonna open it up now to show you. what it is and oh look at that there's another cat that looks like peppy <laughs> that's funny there's another label and this one okay whatever it's a no track litter mat so basically let me mess up so here we go it's got ta -da, cat ears and it open yeah it's just folded up so but once I put this on the floor in a, a sunny spot it'll stay flat so it's a non-skid mat for kitty's litter box this is the same type of mat that we we buy uh, to use in bathrooms you know to so we don't slip on our, our wet floors I like bath like bath mat material type of thing that it's made of so you know what I'm thinking these would this would also be cute in the bathroom just as a mat <laughs> for us crazy cat people so yeah so that's my those are my purchases from Dollarama um yeah I hope I inspired you to get your DIY on and uh, adopt a cat if you can <laughs> and love your kitties so that's it thank you so very much for watching thank you for putting up with my craziness and uh i hope you enjoyed this video and you were entertained by it please give it a thumbs up uh if you were and uh if you don't like my videos and you're giving them a thumbs down could you like let me know what you don't like <laughs> that would be helpful um, so thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like, comment, share, and until next time, stay crafty. Bye!